Okay, so what makes us happy? What really makes us happy? Wow, it's a cool one, isn't it? Eh? Easy. Okay, where do we start? We've got a couple of weeks here. Um, maybe first class to Vegas, huh? With the ba hottest babe on the block, off to Vegas, zhush, staying at the best hotel, all expenses paid, gambling, unlimited stakes, the high life nightclubs, party time, non stop wall to wall. <laughs> then maybe trip down to the Caribbean, to an island, like just off of. Ricky Boyce Island, <laughs> spend a couple of days on the beach, salsa bands, whole story, you know, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. sexy tropical nights, um, nice house, great house, maybe Camps Bay, maybe that lodge where they've just taken over <laughs> the city. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what are these kind of things, isn't it, so cool, all these things that money can buy, they just, they give us life. They give us the stability. And like, say maybe we could do it. Eh? We go to the Caribbean. We stay there for a week on this exclusive lodge villa. Beautiful pool, fountains, hot and cold running blinds, the whole shooting match. And then we find out, yeah, it's for sale. We could actually buy it. And we have got the means to buy it. So off we go down to the little real estate shop. We speak to the big... Fattish man sweating too much with a three-piece suit. And we buy the little villa. And we come back and we're lying on, at the pool. And we're thinking, Shh. and in a couple of weeks' time, we're going to have the villa. And now we start thinking. And we start thinking, okay, when I get the villa, I've got to do this. I've got to upgrade that. Needs a couple of coats of paint. The varnish is chipped in places. The pool, Shh. they should have done a bit of work on it. It's a little bit of marker. Sorry, Bez, what's that? Yeah, yeah, no, I'll come later. I'm just, I'm just thinking of it. You know, yeah, great. You carry on without me. Uh, lawn. I have to buy a lawn. No, I, should. I hope the stocks are still going to work. I hope this business is still going to kick that side. I've got to just got to make sure that I don't lose contact. That Wi-Fi. I must remember to get that sorted out. <laughs> and then we move down to our dream house. And there's maintenance. And there's strikes, and there's electricity breakdown, and all of the shite we had before that we tried to escape through our dream house just evaporates into smoke. And we sit with just another environment for yesterday's problems. Okay, but that's a bad one. I mean, it's not realistic to have a Caribbean, is it? So let's turn around and say, we go get the perfect babe. Okay, she's what everyone dreams about from every side. And you get her, and the making love is marvelous, and the night's out, magnificent. And she's tender and gentle and kind and thoughtful. And it goes by, and three years down the line, I wish she'd put her fucking toothbrush in the toothbrush thing. That's just, yeah, can't she think about that? And bath, when you finish in the kitchen, just take the dish to the sink. It's easy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, I love her, you know, it's, it's part of the life, you know. But it also it becomes routine. Are these the things that make us happy? They are all things that appeal to our five senses, aren't they? We see them, we desire them. We taste them, another story. We smell them, we hear them, and we touch them. And on our journey through life, it's like going down sort of like a computer game, you know, and you've got all of these things, like what are those things called where the guys stand on their own, they murray with us with a stick or something. And we come down and we've got all these triggers that trigger our senses. Oh, that made us happy, that made us happy, that made us happy. As we see things, like them, taste them. And we get to the end, but they were just triggers that activated moments in time. But did they make us happy They sh for short periods of time? Yeah, they made us, they lifted us up, made us euphoric, made us laugh. But happiness is within. So what is happiness? A clever guy once said to me, I thought he was quite clever, that his definition of has happiness is a person that is at peace with himself, his fellow man, and his God. And sounds rather, uh, jolly do you what or an airy fairy, but it's actually quite profound and it's quite true. It's only inside you find happiness. 
that's not going to come. You'll see the triggers and you've got to appreciate them, appreciate the abundance in your life. But those are only things that give you happiness, which is the happiness of being at, at peace with yourself. What you've achieved, how you fit into the jigsaw of life, how you fit in with other people, and how you fit in with creation. That is where happiness lies. The rest are simply toys of the game.